Hey, this is Mr. Jarvis with Homework Help for September 25th, and we're looking at different multiplication strategies. The first one we look at is the double half method, and I picked one where I don't think the double half method is particularly helpful, but I'm going to demonstrate it for you. So we have 32 times 3, so this is each, this is each one of these larger lines represents five uh, smaller squares, length segments, smaller segments, so this would be 32. So this is 32 uh, times, and this is 3. Imagine I just see this red line here. I cut it in half, and I took this piece off and taped it underneath. So if I did that, I cut that off. This would be 16 half of 32 times double this 6. So 32 times 3 is the same as 16 times 6. And if I counted all those little teeny 16 groups of 6, or 6 groups of 16, I'd have 96 in, in both cases. So it's just like if you cut it in half and then put the other piece below it. That's basically, this is a visual model of that. Okay, so that's the double half method. The other ones make more sense and like why you want to use that and why that might help you do the math in your head. I think it's easier to do 32 times 3 than 16 times 6 in my head. So it's probably not the best example, but uh, this visual tell shows you, I think, why it works. So that's why I kind of solved it for you. Um, the over under method. So I might not be so great at multiplying 6 times 202 in my head, but I can do 6 times 200 super easily. So I'm going to break this out. 6, 200 times, or 200 groups of 6. Now, am I going under or over? 200 is under 200, too. So I'm going under. So I need to add that two more groups of 6. So how do I write 6 two more times? 6 times 2. So 6 times 2 is 1,200, plus 6 times 2 is 12, and that's going to give me 1,212. So in this case, I go, I went under and added later. You could actually add, if it's like 6 times 99, let me just write a little more clearly. 6 times 99, I might think of that as 6 times 100 minus 6. So 6 times 100 is 600. I'm just kind of doing it ahead. Minus 6 would be 594. Okay, so um, that's a kind of another method. So you, practice, you have those to practice, the over method, the under method. In this case, this is the under method. You add. If you use the over method, you subtract. And you can see I subtracted here. So, okay. All right, let's take a look at, uh, let's move on here. Um, so that's number six. I'll do another couple more here. Uh, so this one, 5 times 42, what, what I'm saying here is if you know 10 times a number, and that's su super easy, so uh, like 33 times 10 is, or 34 times 10 is 340, you know, and then you could say half of that would be 170. In this case, 10 times 10 times 442 is 420. So if 10 times 42 is 420, 5 times 2 is going to be half of this, 210. Okay. All right, so let's go on to the next page. So if you know what 10 times a number is, just multiple, if you have a 5 times something, uh, you can multiply it by 10 and then uh, divide the product in half. Let's move on. So um, 
this one, if you know like three times two is six, you know that three times 20 is 60. And if you know that three times 200, and you just keep adding zeros here, 600. So if I have five times, this is the ones, thousands, millions, billion, one, five times three billion. I know what five times three is 15. So five times three um, billion is 15 billion billions. Those, I mean, here's the now zero thousands. I'm sorry, zero millions, zero thousands and zero ones. Okay, we'll move on a little bit. That is number 13. Number five. Um, so number five, we're looking at writing things as two partial products. So 95 times 16 is the same as saying uh, five times 16. Plus, and what does this represent? This is 90, 9 tenths plus 90 plus times 16. Partial products. Um, and we have a couple more of those. So um, I don't think I do another one for you, but let me just uh, kind of do another just so you can see. So let's say I have 16 times 23. And that is equal to 10 time, uh, 6 times 23. See the 6 here? 6 once times 23. I'm sorry. can't write a... 6 once times 23 plus 10. This represents 110. 10. Now keep in mind, this is in the tens place. So it's 10 times 23. And you have a few partial products to work out. And then there's a bonus, whoops, there's a bonus where if you can write it out as four partial products, um, you get extra credit. Okay, so let's say I had um, 14 times 13. And we'll kind of work on this in class. So I could think of that as three ones times four ones, which is 12. And three ones times one ten, which is 30. Okay, let me write it onto the side. Otherwise, I'm going to get in trouble. 30 plus 30 here. Let me erase that. And I'm actually solving these out. So three times four is 12. Three times 10 is 30. Okay, now I'm going to go to this tens place, and I'm going to say 10 times 4 is what? 40 plus 10 times 10 is 100. Okay, and you could add all that, add all those up. Okay, and you get 140, 170, 182. kind of another way of thinking and we'll work on those a little more later so once again three times four plus three times ten okay those are taken care of then you're gonna go ten times four plus ten times ten this represents ten this represents four once and this represents ten okay I hope that kind of helps um, good luck on the homework we'll go over it tomorrow if you need help